Hi, right, can you please tell us your name and what do you do? Fred. Fred. Fred, uh, where, where are we at and what's going on? West Fort Street, East Village. The Mecca of Hamburg. Somebody calls uh, Coney Island the Mecca. Which one is the no, Mecca? No, West Fort is the Mecca. We had all the great players came from here one time. So Fred, uh, have you been to uh, the game yesterday? What do you think about it and yeah, about the players? I got there for the finals. I got there for the finals. It was a great game. Gio wanted it bad. He'd been eluding him for like eight years already. What do you think about the other players? Yeah, Taiwan played good. Um, Nas, he's, he's getting there. I think about next year he should be ready for the opens, but he played good. These guys were just a little more experienced than him, that's all. But it was still close. Yeah, Gio and Tavo was a little bit too much experience for Nas. But I figured next year he's there. How about Tavo? Tavo's playing great. That's, um, yeah, he's been playing with Gio for a while. Gio was the one that bought him out, trained him. I think he met him in all one on second and second. So he brought him he brought him to the village when he was like sixteen. Down in West Florida and playing him and trained him. That's why they got like a similar game. Can I please uh, see what's going on behind you? Uh, Fred, uh, you've been in the long in the in the game for a long time. Can you tell us how many years? Huh? How many years you've been in the game? The game? I've been playing since like 75, I've been out here. Yeah, I've been playing since like 75, 71 in high school, junior high school, 71. I've been playing a long time, four decades. <laughs> I played, I played with Rookie in the open tournament. Like me and Rookie was partners for like 17 years straight in the 90s. Play a lot in the 90s. I played, I started playing with Rookie. I teamed up with Rookie when he was 22, and we won our last Opens when I was 51, 2008. We won the, the last citywide in 2008, and then I uh, retired from tournaments. That was it. I didn't want to put my body to that no more. But then, yeah, so we had a good run. Uh, more about uh, the tournaments uh, and the difference between the tournaments, the games between the tournaments and uh, regular games. Tournament, they, you know, you got to be more focused and in shape. You know, regular games, you know, you know, they play for money, but not really no pressure. The pressure is in the tournament. You know, a lot of people could win in the park, but can they win in the tournament? It's different. A um, lot more pressure. You've seen the game go up and down. And how, how do you? Where do you want to? Where do you want to see it? Where do you want to see him go? Like when we played, me and Buddy and all of us played, we never got no money for it. We only got trophies. So now, you know, you, now you see money, now they're traveling to Spain, they're traveling on over. It's definitely getting big. They're trying to get it to the Olympics. You probably need like four more countries and they might, they'll make the Olympics. But it's definitely getting big. Handball plays is traveling now. Gio went to Spain, Rookie went to Spain. You know, they're traveling all over. It's big in Europe. Handball is big in Europe. When Rookie went there. Say one more time when Rookie went there. When Rookie went to Spain, they all knew him. They was like calling his name out. He was like, Rookie? But he's, he's big over there. You know, they know us. They know the one ball players from uh, YouTube. No! Um. Is there anything else would you like to add? Like, oh, when Mookie came to West 4th Street, he was like 15. You know, he couldn't even win a game. He got zipped, 21 zip. But he, he came back and learned every day. He came back, learned, learned. He put his work in. How you get better? Mm -hmm. How you get better in the game? You gotta practice by yourself. You know, you gotta come out, practice for a couple of hours. When you see the top players play, you gotta watch it. 
watch what they're doing and do the same swing. You got to do the same swing they do. Just watch and learn. That's what Ricky does. You watch and learn. All the guys from out here. You got to watch and learn. That's how you know. You got to watch the game. Just watch the players. A lot of people come out where they don't study the players. You got to study the players. And then you go and practice those shots. King of the courts. What do you think about it? King of the courts? It's still the top game. It's still that shows where the number one play is at King of the Courts. So every year it, it gets tough. Well nobody won King of the Courts two years in a row yet. That haven't happened yet. Nobody won two years in a row. It's, it's tough. I think there's only been like eight players that won it. I think. Over 20 years, it's only been a eight players, I think. I'm not sure. Over 20 years, you think there should be more players that want it? But Rookie just dominated for like 20 years. He was on top for like 20 years. From 22, and he won the last King of the Court at age 43. So, you know, that's a long, long time being at number one. Why do you love handball? It, you know, it keeps you in shape, and you get to, you get to meet a lot of different people from all over the world. You know, especially down in West Philly. Every day, you, you know, you meet somebody new from all over, you know, different nationalities. Handball brings a lot of different nationalities together. A lot, you know. It's good. You just meet different people all the time, you know, different occupation, all of this shit. What's good about bringing uh, different nationalities together? Well, you got to learn about the different nationalities, what they do, you know, all of that. You, you know, you meet people from France. All over. It's, it's, we all get along and, and hang out. That's the thing about handball, it gets people together. It's not a rich sport, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it keeps you together, it keeps you young. And you could, you know, you could play handball. You got guys in their 40s, 50s, still playing good. Here. And West 4th Street is the Mecca. How old are you, Fred? 65. I wish you 65 more, Fred. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, yeah.